like, comment, subscribe. Billy, tell them to ring the bell. Ring the bell. Oh, what a day, what a day, what a day. It is Monday. Oh, at, um, I don't know, what time is it? Uh, 12, it's midnight. Mine, so it's Tuesday. First off, before I forget, I took Billy for a walk out in the grass out here. And I got my headlight on. And I'm seeing all this shit glowing on the ground. I'm like, what is that sparkly shit on the ground? So I finally, I, I, I start looking. I go to pick one up to see what it is. It looks like it's a shiny rock or something. And as I go to pick it up, I realize that's the eyeballs of a giant spider. So then I start looking around and there's nothing but giant spiders everywhere. That's what all these glowing things are. It's their eyeballs. What the hell, man? So I checked myself, make sure I didn't have none on, Billy didn't have none on him. I hope you don't have any on him. I took him walking for about 20, 30 minutes over in the yard, uh, or in the concrete, and I brushed him and everything and tried to get it all off him. But anyways, that's not what this video is about. This video is about this day. It could have gone so much worse if I would have let my emotions take over but let me just tell you what a crappy day today was start out uh, about noon I get a load paying really you know paying pretty good for this market picking up in uh, Pasadena Texas going to Bristol Tennessee um, for a Wednesday early morning delivery. Perfect. Picked up at 2.45. So I get there at 1.45. Staging area. I get out. They're supposed to call the number when you get to the staging area, but there was no phone number. So I get out and I walk to another truck sitting there. She goes, oh, you got to go up there and check in. So I go up there, give them the check and you know, the pickup numbers I had. And they're saying, okay, cool, you got to call this number. So I call this number. They asked if I did the video yet or signed all the papers and whatnot. So meanwhile, they get wind that I got a dog on the truck. Once they find out I got a dog on the truck, nope, you got to leave a property. No dogs allowed on our property. Like, are you serious? She goes, yeah, there's a kennel up the road about five miles. You can take them and drop them off at the kennel. Come pick up your load and go get them. The way she said it, so cold, like, I was just like, how about you go drop your kids off at the kennel and then pick them up later? I'm not going to just drop them off at any unknown kennel. I don't know who the hell these people are. No, it's fine. I'll just cancel this load. So I go back to my truck, let dispatch know, hey, you got to cancel this load. There's no dogs allowed on this property. So she comes back and talks to broker and whatnot. And, oh, well, can you just tie them up out in front of the property? Go in and get your load and then come back and get them. Maybe see if the security guard can keep an eye on them. I almost lost it right there. Number one, do these people not understand that it's like my baby? I'm not going to just leave them tied up in the 100 degree weather against a tree or a post or whatever and go and pick up a load for God knows how long it would take. So I'm just, not only that, but imagine this. Imagine me tying them up, getting in my truck and driving away from them. What would he think? He'd think, wait a minute, did you just tie me to this pole and you're leaving me here? Do these fucking people not understand what it's like to have an animal? I mean, come on. Come on, huh, Billy? Billy. Is that the Billy boy in there? Is that there? There's the Billy boy. There's the Billy boy. Yeah, he's hanging out in his thing. I wonder if you can see any of the eyeballs. Let's go 
out hunting for spiders. Where'd they all go, man? They were everywhere over here. Where's all the little shiny eyeballs? Are you kidding me? Would they all go to sleep? Hundreds of them over here. I won't even step in the grass. They were everywhere. I wonder if it's because we walked through the grass and disturbed them. And now they're burrowed back down into the grass. Okay, let's go check the ones out that were over here. You gotta be kidding me. There was a huge one right here. That's weird. Oh, there he is right there. His eyes aren't glowing. I ain't getting close to him. I'll zoom in. See his giant ass? Look at his glowing eyes. Look at that monster. Look at that monster, man. It's like the size of a silver dollar. But there was tons of them over there. I was like, what are all these glowing things? See, even his eyes weren't glowing anymore. I wonder if they were glowing because I disturbed them. <laughs> yeah, because when you looked at this grass, all you would see was, oh, I'd seen all this glowy stuff all over. It's like, what is all this, what is all this uh, glitter looking stuff? And I went to pick one up and it was that ugly ass spider. I thought it was like coins or not coins, but like somebody threw beads or something. They were everywhere. That's weird how they're not glowing now. Unless these lights, I was using a different light. Unless these lights just don't pick up the glow. I was using a headlamp. I just get sidetracked. What the hell are we talking about? Okay, so back to the story. Sorry about that. I got sidetracked, didn't I? So I tell my uh, dispatcher, hell no, I, I ain't leaving them. So she's, well, do you know anyone in Houston you can take them to? No, I don't know anyone in Houston I can take them to. You know, not only that, I mean, what do you, what do you think? You think I can just jump in this freaking, what light turned off? You think I can just jump, to, you know, drive this damn truck anywhere? So I told her, no, cancel the load. And, you know, she was pissed off because I guess we were going to, you know, they were going to get in trouble as a company for canceling a load last minute. But, hey, it said right on the Raycon sheet, I didn't see it, which I'm the second person looking at it. She looks at it first. She didn't see it, but in the notes it said uh, no uh, pet policy. So then, I go to a truck stop and she gets me another load. This load is going to Kentucky. And, uh, no, that's not the Kentucky load. This other load was going to, I can't remember where that load was going to, but it was paying about the same. It was good. And about 10 minutes after she tells me about it, she comes back and says, nope, never mind, they don't allow pets either. And she was bitching at me saying that about 80% of shippers and receivers don't allow pets on their property. Which I told her, that's not true. I go, the whole time I've been out here, I've only seen one place that said no pets. You know? So, then she gets us a load going to Kentucky, or gets me a load going to Kentucky, so I drive over there. I get there, and it's a scrap yard. 
which immediately alarm bells started going off in my head because we were told never pick up scrap. If it's going to damage the trailer, don't pick it up. Call immediately. So I pull in and they put me on the scale and I call the number to check in. And as I do, she sends me a message. Oh, by the way, this is a scrap place. It's supposed to be clean scrap. Um, let me know. Take a picture of it. So I tell the lady I got to get a picture of it before they'll allow me to haul it. And she's like, well, I need to know because this was a last minute deal, blah, blah, blah. We really need to move, blah, blah, blah. So I go in there and it's a bunch of crunched up cans in cubes on uh, totes. Our bales, bales of cans. Looks clean, doesn't smell, nothing's coming out of them. So I'm like, yeah, it looks cool. Nope, leave, don't take that. The broker said it's not on pallets. Um, yeah, they're sitting on pallets. Broker says, it. okay, leave it. Okay. So we let them lose that load. I spent the whole day today driving around Houston trying to pick up loads. Finally ended up with a load picking up in Houston and delivering in Dallas, which is here now. Um, just sat in traffic. There was an accident on the freeway. A semi turned over, of course, a big truck. So I sat in traffic for like over an hour. Um, well, I was supposed to get here at 10, 30, 11, 30, so about an hour and a half. Um, but uh, there was parking here, so I'm parked in front of the place. And uh, we'll deliver at 9 o'clock in the morning. 12, yeah. What a day. I hope tomorrow's better, man. Trucking with David H. on Facebook.